get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Friday. I hope y'all are doing good today. I have been under the weather, but I'm feeling a little bit better. So I'm here with the podcast with my girl, Emily. Emily, say what's up to the people. What's up, everybody? All right, girl. Whew, it's a lot going on in these... <laughs> it is. <laughs> in these social media streets. It's on and cracking. Man, people have been tagging me like, T, well, you going to lie today? What's going on? You see the girls knocked up. Oh, my gosh. The tags I've been getting. Not Maybe your not girl. Been trying to de- I've been trying to defend Drea and her little unconventional relationship. You know, just, right. hey, if she likes it, I love it. But damn, Drea, I wasn't expecting this shit. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Well, so I kind of was. So for y'all who don't know, today is not only International Women's Day, but Drea decided to go onto social media and let the world know that she's knocked up, that she's now with child. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to read to you guys what she had to say on um, her Instagram page that she has since literally turned off the comments. They were dragging her for the field. Dang. So she posted a picture of her pregnant. She says, happy International Women's Day. As a woman, we <laughs> navigate through so much often leading us to question, what is my purpose? For me, the magic lies in motherhood and the awe-inspiring ability to bring life into this world over a span of two decades. It's my superpower. And if anything can surpass the wonder of being a woman, it's the privilege of bringing another woman into existence. Pink heart bow emoji. (laughs) Okay, so she's having a girl. (laughs) Right, then she says... (laughs) We are overjoyed to share our love with you, the little girl. I'm excited to speak words to the daughter I never thought I'd have. We are anxious about your arrival, but take your time. This world can be tough, but know you are being brought into a space of love, security, and adornment. Hashtag 28 weeks. Hashtag seven months. Hashtag come in May 2024. Hashtag girl mom. Okay. okay. So she, how many kids and, and you does see, she has twelve thousand comments. But she it has twelve thousand <laughs> comments. But when you click on it, oh, she disabled. When I tell you, they were dragging her. They're calling her uh, our Shelly. Oh God, not our Shelly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they are going in on her. They they're calling her a clown. Well. They're even going to her other pages because she has other pictures up. And they are going in on her other pictures and just dragging her. You know, they're saying, so what pickup line did he use? You want to go play Xbox with me and go get a slushie? <laughs> this, person, this person says, you groom that young man, shake my head. Um, they're, I mean, they're going in on her. They are going in on her. Um, now, for y'all who don't know who she's pregnant by, she's pregnant by basketball player Jalen Green, who is 22 years old. And I've mm. talked about their relationship in the past. Um, now, I was assuming they had been together a lot longer. But, you know, silly me, because he's only but so old. But I thought maybe they'd been together since he was, you know, legal. 18, 19. Yeah. Uh-uh. She has only been with him eight months. And she's seven months pregnant. So that oh. means she went into that relationship on some I'm about to secure the bag. So they haven't even been together a whole year. He, he hasn't even been in the NBA, I don't even think, maybe over, a little bit over a year. He hasn't been in the NBA that long at all. But you're already knocked up by him, and you guys have only been official for eight months. That is very soon, I, I must say. Uh, so with Drea, how many kids does she already have? Okay, so let's break this down. First and foremost, okay, Drea got her oldest son, who is also, <laughs> ding, 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 22. Oh, damn. That's that's fine. Yeah. So her oldest and that's the one that she left at home with no food to go run behind Chris Brown back in the day. Oh, damn. Yeah. She left him at home. For she like looks like weeks. one of Chris Brown's types, too. Yeah. She fits yeah. his aesthetic. That's how she first came into, like, you know, social media because she got arrested for child abandonment. You know, poor baby. He was oh, like damn. seven at the time and she was running behind. For real. Him. See, I didn't know that tea about Drea. I met yeah. her through basketball wives. I yeah, thought no, she no, was no. just dating a basketball player. Oh, no, no, no. She had abandoned her child. 
And so um, then right. she ended up on Basketball Wives afterwards because she was like a stripper. That's how Chris Brown found her. Okay. And so her the child that was abandoned, who's now, you know, he's okay. He's fine now, but he's 22, the same age as her baby daddy. <laughs> he don't remember it. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, and then she has two other little boys by another, like, I think that baby daddy was a football player. So she was married, like, maybe, like, two, three years ago. And so she had two kids by that dude. Was that the one that she was with on Basketball Wives, the yes. Orlando? Yep, Orlando, yep. Okay, and okay, I so remember him. Her and Orlando are not together, and now she's knocked up and about to have a girl with, you know, with Jalen. Now, I hate when people use the term girl mom or boy mom. Like, if you have kids of the opposite sex, you're not a boy mom. You're right. Not a mom. You're just a mom. Like, I hate when people do that. Like, Kobe Bryant, he's a girl's dad because all he had was girls. I hate when right. the game is like, hashtag girl's dad. No, you have a daughter and you have a bunch of girls. I mean, you have a bunch of sons. Like, you're not a, a girl dad like Kobe. Yeah. Me like, and you are boy moms. Exactly, we only we're have, boy moms. Like, yeah. give us our, like, kudos. Like, we we feel bad enough that we don't have kids of other genders. Now y'all want to take that from us, too? Yeah, y'all think y'all get it all? No. You're either a boy mom, a girl mom, whatever. Or, you, or both. Or you're just a parent. Yes, I hate but when God damn it, I'm a boy mom. Get it? Yeah, like, <laughs> hashtag boy mom, but you have four daughters. Well, at least I have a son. That's not how it works, ma'am. Mm-mm. No, I'm with you on that one. Get, let us have our things. <laughs> yes, I hate that. <laughs> so she's trying to claim girl mom, even though you have sons. Like, what are you talking about? You're a parent. Just say that. Mom. But yeah, hashtag so, mom. Yeah, so that's who her baby daddy is, child. Jamie. Okay. Well, I mean, 22 is pretty young. And given that her son is the same age, <laughs> I um, I do find that very interesting. Now, I will, you know, say men do it all the time. They yeah. do it all the time. They, you know, date people the same age as their daughters and stuff like that. And it just definitely seems that there is a double standard in that instance. Plus, we don't know his level of maturity just because he's around the same age as her son. I'm going to kind of give her a little bit of grace in that situation. But I will say, I think with Drea, and that not just her, this goes for a lot of people. When you, you know, and, and I know she's built several successful businesses outside of just her being a beautiful woman. But I think when a lot of your capital, I don't know if that's the right way to use it or not, but when a lot of your stock is based on being the beautiful person, the beautiful girl, and that's how you make a lot of your money and things like that, as time goes on, you know, unfortunately, the time, you know, you, you get older and you're not always going to be the most youngest, beautiful person. So she's got to secure the bags the best way that she can, you know, not saying that her businesses aren't working, but it does seem a little calculated it, I would be lying to say that it doesn't seem a little calculated that now that she's getting older, okay, well, she she might need to go ahead and have another baby because sh mm. she's getting older. And you can, you know, tell her hands. You can always look in someone's hands and see because Drea looks good, like yeah. body on point, beautiful, everything like that. But you can tell she is not a 20-year-old girl, even though she looks like it. When you look at them hands, because mine look the same way. She is, you know, in, in her 40s. You can tell by her fucking hands. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, yeah, she does, you know, she does look good. And, you know, I think where some of the animosity from older men come is that they feel like once a woman hits 40, like you're supposed to literally just roll over and die because mm -hmm. guys are supposed to be seen as more valuable as they get older. And women were just supposed to be tossed in the trash. And why a lot of men are bothered is because you have a lot of young dudes now who are going after older women. It's just, it is what it is. You know yep. what I'm saying? And a lot of these older women are baddies. They look good. And some of these older women are the same women that a lot of men wish that they themselves could have. Let's keep that real. You yep. know, Dre is not no ugly female, but no. Again, uh, what did Boomy call them in the in the Discord? He says, "I'm tired of all these BBL bandits going after <laughs> these young kids." <laughs> the BBL bandits. He called them BBL bandits. He said, "It's fucking Drea, hilarious." <laughs> Miss Nikki, baby. I mean, they're all getting knocked up by like these young NBA players. You know, they try to attach Amber Rose to you know a real young a guy not too long ago too. But they, <laughs> them they BBL bandits. Yeah, so I'm just I'm laughing at that. But yeah, I his BBL looks good though. I think she, hers is one of my favorite ones though because you can tell obviously she's had work done, but it just it she fits her. It fits her body, her shape so well. Like she. Her doctor definitely did a good job. Like, she, she looks good. 
They did. But I do find the whole thing very suspect. You know, again, I'm here for the the cougar cub romances. I just am. I feel like as long as your frontal cortex is, you know what I mean? It's right, fully developed. developed, which at 22. I think 22, I I think 22 is a bit young. But I think anybody 25 and over is fair game. But I've always thought that way. So, I mean, it is what it is. You know, 25 yeah, I agree. is fair game. Because I think at that point, you know, your frontal cortex has developed and you're old enough to decide what you want to do. And let's not forget, a lot of these young dudes are the ones who are pursuing these women. It's not right, like she it's can't. It's not the other way around. Now, with exactly. that situation, it is different because he has money. He's worth $40 million. So I can see her definitely pursuing him. But on average, it's usually the opposite way around. It's usually the young dude sliding in DMs, pulling up to you at the gas station. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> you know, all types of stuff. <laughs> and also, you know, she didn't get pregnant by herself. You know, he, even though he's 22, like he, this isn't, he's not a child. He's a grown man. He's, he's making big boy money. Like mm-hmm. she, he, he was just as involved in, in the creation of their child as she was. So it wasn't like she bamboozled him or, you know, was poking holes in the condoms and stuff like that. And I also think it leads to another conversation as to if he's 22 years old, why didn't he date somebody around closer to his age? Maybe they weren't on the same level as him. Maybe they weren't on the same like level of maturity as him. You know, this whole like city girl mentality, you know, you and I have talked about this a lot, has turned a lot of younger guys off to where they just feel like it's immature and they don't want to fool with all that. They want a yeah. woman that's got their shit together, that knows what they want in life and is already established. No, I definitely agree with that. And I think for like most younger guys who do date older women, that's where their mentality is at, especially if they have themselves together, you Mm -hmm. know, because most older women, they're not about to raise somebody else's son. Like if you don't have your shit together, they're not going to entertain it. That's just what it is. Right. And so I think um, a lot of younger guys are tired of like the whole city girl mentality or, you know, you got to do this, this and that for me. But then some of the younger girls don't really bring a lot to the table from what some of them are saying. So Mm -hmm. I see it on both parts. And then again, when it's an older guy dating a younger girl, that's always acceptable in society, right? It's like, nobody's going to shame Diddy or hell, even like Mike Epps when he got with Mike Epps is in his 50, his latest baby mama wife. She is his wife now. She's like 36. They got together when she was like around 30. Nobody's going to shame that. They're always going to give an older man props like, oh, look at you. You still got it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you still pulling them, you know, that fine young thing. Uh But it's like with women, it's always like, you know, like there's like always like a level of shame. But I think with this, I want to say that Jalen, like if you're on the outside looking in and you don't really, you're not like into the whole sports dynamic, you might think like he is mature because he's worth $40 million and he's in the NBA and there's like a level of maturity with that. But Somebody reminded me today of the viral video of Jalen, and this went viral eight months ago, and I totally forgot about this until somebody brought it to my attention. And this is why I feel like all of this is very calculated and possibly on both parts, right? So we're going to watch this video. This was Jalen eight months ago. This went viral. It wasn't not one, but two videos, and people have been accusing Jalen Green of being gay or at least bisexual. I don't know if you saw these videos because even Charleston White mm-hmm. drug him where he's like humping on his homeboy. Okay, and it was awesome. two like different videos. So we're going to watch this first one here. It's like dang. Let's watch this one. Okay. <gasps> oh. That is Jalen with his legs in the air like a bitch. Oh, he's the one with the legs in the air. Okay. Yes, that's him with his legs in the air. And oh. then this is the other video that came out of him like, like people are like a like, bitch. <laughs> yeah, like people try to like excuse the first one, but then the second one came out, and it's like, what is wrong with you? Hold on, we gonna watch the second one, and it's him and Josh Christopher, and I'm like, is this your boyfriend? Like, what is the tea, Jalen? So that's why I'm just like, I want to say he's mature, but then these videos, I don't know. There was another video released earlier today or yesterday, I don't know when, but here it is, right here. But it's just, I don't know, man. Something's wrong with Jalen, especially. Because Josh Christopher wasn't in the video, but Jalen Green was, though. But here's a video here, and subscribe, like, and comment to my channel. So, as you guys saw, this video is not as bad as, like, the other video, but it's still kind of bad, though. Yeah, that's, that's literally right, a month two before. different videos. One, and he's too tall to have his legs kicked up like a bitch. <laughs> like a bitch. <laughs> I mean, them legs are long. 
long I in mean, the air. the boy is like, the sky. yeah, it's like gross. Like he's just too big and tall to be have his legs in the air like that. And you she's how, she's seven months pregnant. Yeah. So this is <laughs> what I'm thinking. Both of these videos went viral eight months ago. Then all the so these rumors have been swirling around Jalen Green for a while that he's gay, he's bi, you know, he's Josh's secret lover, you know, mm-hmm. like the whole like teen, you know, and NBA fandom, excuse me, had literally been dragging both Jalen and Josh, right? And mm-hmm. so there's been all these rumors. What inspired you to start painting your nails? It really started with my hand tats, and it started with one finger, and then. It felt weird without all my fingers. So I started doing all five and then the tats made it cool too. So yeah. Is it something you hope that like young hoopers will start doing too? Yeah, for sure. I mean if they if they like it, I'm trying to force them to like that. Then here comes Miss Damn near 40 year old or 40 year old Drea. So damn, I got this grown, sexy woman, Drea, coming at me. You know, she's liking me. And so is Drea possibly his beard? I mean, I'm just saying that's just another angle for y'all who don't really be into the sports tea like that. Because I just find it very interesting. Think about it. Drea is seven months pregnant. That video of him acting gay and stuff was eight months ago. They've only been together eight months. So it seems like after all these rumors and things were thrown around about him, you know, being a bati boy, whatever folks were saying on the internet. A bati boy? Sudden now, <laughs> he shows up with Drea and Drea gets knocked up a month later. So was this possibly a way to like kind of prove his manhood? That look, I'm I'm not gay no more. I've knocked up Drea. <laughs> <laughs> I have been delivered. <laughs> I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I'm just saying. <laughs> you, know, you know, my tin hat is tingling now. Yeah, no, that that's definitely, um, a, that's a good point. Because the way them legs was pointed up in the air, that's wild. You know, I, I, I don't know if that's, you know, who am I to say was normal or not, but. I, I never really seen like my brother and his friends. I never really seen them running around humping each other like that, especially with the legs up in the air like that. That's a little extra to me, but um, that that would make sense and it would be beneficial, you know, to both of them. So I could see that. Yo, what's up? Hey, tea sippers! To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.